Hello and welcome back to The Stronghold. I'm the Magi and boy have we got a little bit of a hot one for you today. In fact, it's hot like a desert. Uh, recent leaks of the four pending commander decks for the upcoming Outlaws of Thunder Junction set have got the speculation and rumor mills running wild. Uh, one of the four decks includes the word desert in the title and that along with some fairly obvious and on point cowboy-esque artwork from uh, the official channels on Outlaws um, lots of folks are now concluding or at least speculating that deserts are going to be included in the new set and I want to take just a minute to break down exactly what that might mean for us budget players on the arena community. But before we get into all that, take just a moment to like, comment, and subscribe because that kind of thing really keeps this boat moving. Now uh, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, right. All right, so very recently uh, with the Lost Caverns of Ixalan, we saw how the new cave land subtype can really have an effect on uh, getting the juices flowing for us brewers out there um, and very often can lead to interesting budget concepts. I know behind the scenes I probably put in like 12 or 15 hours trying to make different versions of this deck both budget friendly and effective and sadly I just never really got there uh, in large part because caves were just introduced in Lost Caverns and often it's the second or third iteration that really starts to get interesting. For instance, when gates were first introduced for the Ravnica sets, they were basically just uh, a low level form of color fixing to enable wit something that at the time was a pretty experimental multicolor set. And uh, they really needed that color fixing readily available at low levels to make the limited environment work. Then in later returns to Ravnica sets, we saw the gates evolve into a WinCon all its own with cards like Mazes in to help facilitate it. And while we are currently on Ravnica for Murders at Karlov Manor, we don't really see gates at all in this set. But in just the prior return, we saw an entire cycle of uncommons that interacted with gates in interesting ways, as well as commons that facilitated it, that gave birth to one of the best budget decks of that standard period that still sees play uh, in the Eternal formats today. But hey, we're supposed to be talking about desert as a land subtype. And uh, really, it's nothing new. It's been most recently reprinted for one of the Adventures in Forgotten Realms Commander decks. And of course, the desert goes all the way back to old school for the Arabian Nights set, uh, which is so old, I don't even remember when this was printed. Uh, I want to say this was like 93, 94 maybe. So uh, yeah, we're talking a good 30 years old at this point. Uh, maybe a little less. Uh, my, my sense of time is not always the best. But uh, this was an interesting set because it was the first time that we as Magic players saw lands that had, well, really more than just produce mana type abilities. This was one of the first places that we saw lands that had spell-like attributes. Um, maybe not the absolute first appearance, but this is where we started to see it coming together. But most modern Magic players, when they hear about deserts, of course, they think about the plain of Amonkhet, and that is certainly the place that we have seen the most deserts printed, although we have seen uh, reprints and various things like commander sets uh, for 21 and 22, uh, Ikoria, for instance, uh, as well as the Warhammer 4K commander decks. Uh, let's see, what else here? Uh, Jumpstart 2022. Uh, a number of things have played around with the concepts of deserts, uh, including Time Spiral Remastered fairly recently. 
so there's a lot of room here, not only for reprints, but also reimagining of the types. Now, while I wouldn't go and craft the, any of these cards speculatively, there are about 23 cards currently on Arena which care about the desert subtype. And we may even see some of these existing cards popping up on things like uh, the list or a special guest for the Outlaw set. Uh, so again, I wouldn't rush into anything, but there is a lot of interesting room here for potentially new desert care about cards to interact with old ones and maybe create a very budget friendly deck uh, for those eternal formats, very much the way we have seen gates happen. Uh, in fact, I think all of the desert uh, subtype cards with uh, possible exception of the scavenger grounds are all commons and uncommons. So uh, there's a lot of room for potential here. In any case, I think a reprint or reimagination of this type is almost always a step in the right direction because as I said earlier, these tend to get better and build upon each other the more times we see them. This would be the second appearance on Arena and hopefully not the last. And before we go, I want to take just a moment to thank my totally awesome patrons for supporting me and allowing me to apply my passion into a community. And of course, before we go, I've got some suggestions for your next step. 